All right, make up for my last video where I did nothing dangerous at all. I'm gonna do a little bit of cutting with the grinding wheel, send a little sparks into some hydraulic oil. Kind of breaking all the rules, but up against the limit in duckies. You guys gonna help? No? All right, let's get to work. So I've got this fitting. I've got all the hydraulic lines off, including for the bucket, the dipper, the boom. The cylinders are out for being rebuilt. And one hydraulic line is still stubborn. In fact, you can see I've already cut the hose off, cut through the wires in the hose, sent quite a bit of spark. So I've added this aluminum. It's actually a beware of dog sign, but it's aluminum and it'll be a little bit of a shield. Got the ports plugged. It's kind of rudimentary. Uh, let's see if I can get a socket on there. Got this really jumbo socket. It's one and a quarter inch. Yeah, I know, Harbor Freight Special. But if it fits on there, it might do the job. And no, the crow foot wrenches didn't work. All right, let's give this a shot. Didn't quite get it all the way. Take one more video because that ground my wheel too small. Let's try this again. Got a new wheel on there. New bigger wheel. Stubborn. Ah, finally. All right, let's see if we can see it. All right, got it off. And to cut through a lot of metal, and I didn't want to send any grinding dust down in that hole, but it's lined with oil. I don't know. Probably a bad idea, but I had no resort. Already tried the crowfoot's wrench and every other. I even welded a tool up to try and do this, but it's real tight in there. Uh, this is with all the lines removed. I even removed some of the hard lines. So let's try this big deep wall socket. One and a quarter. Okay, and it actually engages. So now I'll try a cheater wrench on that. All right, I tried all kinds of things. One of the things I tried was to use this guy, which is a one and a quarter inch crow foot wrench. Just fits on a regular socket. Had to wait a week for those, that tool to come in. Even with a big long cheater bar on it. Just couldn't get, get the angle I needed in the sides of the crowfoot wrench here would hit the threads of the next fitting. So I'm gonna try something different. Like I said, this is big stuff, so half inch isn't good enough. We're going up to Recorder. Yes.
So, there's the culprit. You can see there's an awful lot of metal in there. And you cut through a crimp. I don't know if anyone, if you've ever done that before. And the question of how much junk, sparks and stuff, flew down through the middle. It's a bit out of focus here. But um, you can see there's a tiny bit of sludge there, but I'm hoping not much made it into the spool. Maybe I'll have a special technique for purging out. Hope not much made it into there. Kind of hard to see.